And this is why you don't fly off the handle without all the facts. Listen, now I've been following this story from behind the scenes, but for some reason, something didn't sit right with me. Something other than the reasons that they were saying that black men were apprehensive about this. But after, after a few days, my suspicions were pretty much all confirmed. And now we've got so many people that have demonized the black men that stood by, the black men that threw bricks, hitting people in the face with bricks. And we still got some questions here. We got, we're left with a whole bunch of questions. You know what I'm talking about. The brick lady, the brick lady was a hoax. And I'm just gonna say this allegedly. The alleged brick lady was a hoax. Allegedly. Today on Ghetto News, man, I'm sorry to report, we may have gotten bamboozled, her fluffled, hoodwinked. She didn't just pull the wool over her eyes, she pulled the whole damn sheep on our face. So we all know this lady, right? The brick lady, aka Ro Reacts. Now it seems like she has a history of doing this sort of thing. Basically in 2020, she actually, once again, played the victim to actually get GoFundMe donations. And I want y'all to listen to this. Years we've been scammed again. Rhoda Osman, the brick lady, appears to be a scammer that uses victimhood to create GoFundMe's. Her first incident was in 2020. She claimed she was assaulted by a dollar store security guard. And man, did the story get crazy. Man, this story got more twists and turns than a Jamaican street. Seems like... <laughs> That's funny, because I knew about that previous GoFundMe where she raised $5,000 for a very similar incident and also uh, to treat facial contusions of some kind. You know what I mean? But all that's gonna make sense as soon as we do a little bit, if we, as soon as we look a little deeper under the surface, as soon as we get out of our feelings and stop accusing people and stop pushing the agendas that have already been baked in to this gender war. You know the one about the black boogeyman that I mentioned before? Yeah. This story got more twists and turns than a Jamaican street. Seems like we got Carly Russell again. She had black women coming for black men all over the internet. But as more details of the story came out, man, her story was flakier than a 90-year-old crotch. Y'all remember her claiming that none of the black men around actually came to her defense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one. Now watch this clip. Yeah, talking about, I got hit with the brick, you know? And uh, we was trying to help her. That's all we was trying to do. You see what I'm saying? We was trying to help her. I called the police and stuff like that. They pulled them. I talked to them. I know they got the video. Oh, so the owner of the establishment also finally spoke out. So he reviewed all the security footage. And there was no video of her getting assaulted in any shape or form. And yet she was able to still raise $40,000 on GoFundMe donations this time around. And now for the obvious question. I'm pretty sure we all see that swelling on her face, right? On top of not filing a police report, it's alleged that she actually got treated for an allergic reaction, guys. Oh, just in case we... Let's stop there. For days, people have been saying these injuries do not seem consistent with someone being slapped upside their face with a brick. There's no abrasions, no cuts. Like her face would have literally, it would have exploded. And what she had really did look like an allergic reaction. If you look at some of the videos that we were looking at. Like I said, I was speculating that it was something like an allergic reaction to something like a bee sting, but this, looking at her and looking at those pictures. This is the smoking gun, I'm gonna say. And then why? Why would this person with a reputation for pranking and having pranks that are based around racial dynamics and gender dynamics and the PhD and I don't know what her study is, but this could be part of it maybe. Maybe she thought this was a great idea. Why? It was too scripted, too convenient can't put one-on-one -on -one together guys she did this for clout she did this for views and she did this for money 
And she knew that by stirring the pot between black men and black women, it would do exactly that. So, us at Ghetto News signing off. Y'all have a good day now. Give it up for him, the investigative reporter right there. We got to talk. We got to talk because every, every black man was bashed from here to Houston. This is ridiculous. Now, I'm going to say that all this is still alleged just because, but too many things are linking up. And when you let the internet do its job, they're going to do their job. They're going to figure out what happened. They're going to get to the bottom of this in some way, shape, or form. You literally had the owner of the establishment coming out and saying he didn't have any surveillance footage of a woman getting hit in the face with a brick. None. You got witnesses that said they actually helped her and she lied and said that no one tried to assist her. Now, what, how did the ambulance get there? Because you obviously couldn't have called them, Rhoda. You couldn't have called them because you were too busy taking a TikTok on your phone. You know what? This is a shame. This is just, just a shame, man. I can't believe so many people fell for it and fell right into this cesspool of accusing language. Other people getting threatened because of it. I heard some people got threatened because they made statements. Women, shout out to the women out there that actually said no nah, this doesn't seem right shout out to them saying nah i know the black men i know don't operate like that nah i know this narrative that they want to push that black men are protectors and providers that ain't the black men i know we get into these online debates and for some reason the darkest stuff comes out. For some reason, the most evil side shows. But you know what? It's cool. It's cool. Because of one thing in, in poker, once you show your hand, now we know where you stand. You understand? And we should keep one eye open for the next time someone wants to run a hoax. The Carly Russell thing, all this, man. Jeez, it's just a mess, man. It's funny, I <laughs> I rarely see these guys on anybody's talk about it, but they seem to be the most informed on the su subject. They've been consistently doing this. And shout out to this guy. Flo has been covering this thing pretty much since the day it happened. And actually had uh, had the, the, the most information. Someone who had been friends with Brick Lady for 13 years comes out and debunks the whole story. Y'all not going to want to miss this. I'm about to play a clip, and she's going to be on live tonight, but wait, I'm going to play this clip. And all I'm going to say is, it's going to be a lot of apologizing going on, ladies. I don't even want to bring it to y'all, but I got to bring y'all the truth. Here it is. First saw the video, I just went again. And not again, like, you know, oh, something bad happened to her. I'm like, she doing this again? Again? What did she say happened that night and what actually happened that night? She basically said she was beat up by four black security guards. Four Out of 200 people, mostly black, you know, may have been a white person here or there, mostly black people. That B.I.T. scares is the reason we can't get in the club. She was trying to fight all of us. I said, oh, okay. And she ended up getting dragged by black females. Dude, like some kind of insurance scam, went to Virgin Islands, and then that's how she ended up in Texas. She got $50,000 in a settlement. Now, in that clip, she's talking about a 2020 incident when she scammed, allegedly scammed, from a security and, and, and the club ended up suing. It's a, you gonna have to do the story, not APM Live. Long story short, she, Brick Lady said it was for black security that beat her up, quote, quote unquote, but it was actually, she got beat up by women that she started something with. And it's a whole lot of other stuff, y'all. But all I'm gonna say is shout out to the ones that have been rocking with me. I appreciate y'all. And the ones who mad because we telling the truth, I wish y'all well, but I'm gonna continue to tell the truth. 8 p.m. live tonight.
interview with Brick Lady's friend coming forward because she she feel bad about all the scam. Uh, that the GoFundMe people done lost, you know, that gave their money to a cause that's not true. See our APM. Oh yeah. Uh, any questions? Oh yeah, she definitely gonna be in trouble for that. If that if that GoFundMe and the, and the GoFundMe had somebody else's name on it, so she could probably say it wasn't directly me. I don't know who that was that started the GoFundMe, but wow, this is this is bombshell. This is a bombshell. <laughs> this is crazy. After after all the stuff that's going on. Anyway, there we have it. I guess now, as in social media fashion, when somebody does a prank, they're gonna be like, it's a prank, bro. But this is what I want you to know. You should have listened to black men on this one. I'm gonna say it 100%. You should have listened to black men on this one. And I've been saying it for a while, but people have been ignoring it. And this is part of the problem. I think black men were like, no, it's not right that somebody gets hit in the face, but let's just find out what really happened. But you know what? It don't matter. It don't matter. This is a deeper issue than just this specific incident. But now you got people coming out actually corroborating the fact that this is what she does. Oh, not again, not again. I wonder if the last time she had an allergic reaction, that's exactly what happened. Was she too close to some shellfish? Yeah. But either way, let me know what you think about it in the comments. If you like this video, sometimes I don't know how you can. <laughs> Please hit the like button. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notification for all uploads. This is Falset Media.